Hey guys, are you ready for the latest and greatest keto cheat meal on YouTube? Well, stay tuned. It's coming up. Hey guys, this is JC on Operation Keto. Uh, well, from the uh, intro video, from the introduction, you saw that uh, I'm going to show you guys a new recipe tonight. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere and it's uh, kind of new to me. Um, today was a, a Sunday. It was a, a cheat meal uh, for me today. But uh, since I've only been, you know, uh, on the keto uh, meal plan since uh, January 1st, I don't, I don't do like a regular uh, cheat meal or a reset day yet. So I'm still trying to stay pretty close to, uh, you know, to being below that 50 grams of uh, carbs when I do have a cheat day. And on my regular days, I drop below 30 grams of carbs. So from what I understand, I guess you, you can go into keto at uh, 50 grams of carbs or less. Uh, it just depends on your body type. And, and I found that going below 30 works best for me. So that's something that you guys got to play around with. Uh, if you know a little more about that, you know, hit me up in the comments and and uh, correct me on that. But uh, so anyway, instead of going overboard and eating pizza or eating a hamburger or something like that and, and going way over 100 carbs, I should try to stay uh, at 50 or less on my cheat days right now, which is only on Sunday. So on Sundays, I go up just a little bit higher in carbs, but I still stay below uh, that 50 gram uh, threshold so this meal I made tonight I went to the store and got some stuff and uh, it came out to be uh, I'm gonna say it's about six uh, servings it came out to be uh, 2650 calories 68 grams of carbs 191 grams of fat and 166 grams of protein so <clears throat> if you break that down into the six servings it's 427 calories uh, each it's uh, 32 grams of fat it's uh, 11 grams of carbs and 28 grams of protein and on your your uh, macros breakdown that's about a 65 percent fat 25 percent protein and 10 percent carbs so it's still not too bad on a, on a cheat day so you can't obviously eat the whole thing because it is has 68 grams of carbs on the whole meal but Man, it was it was delicious. So uh, I'm gonna do a little video here in a minute and show you uh, how to make it, and then I will list all the ingredients that I used and uh, uh, break down the the macros and stuff again for you at the end. So you'll be able to uh, jot that down if you want to try this meal. But it, it, like I said, it was so good. Um, I only ate about uh, half of it, so I got about 30 something, 34 grams of carbs in there, and then. My last meal was just uh, some green vegetables, um, so I stayed I stayed way below my calories uh, yesterday. But I did have a, a nice meal that tasted really good, and I was still able to stay below the the 50 grams of carbs. So, you know, with that uh, with that being said, um, you know that's how I find it easier to uh, stick uh, to the the keto diet and stick to uh, my progression on uh, on losing this weight so you know I don't I don't want to take advantage of a cheat day uh, too much or like really go overboard and uh, slow my progress down a little bit uh, you know they say you can do it and jump right back on but I'd rather keep the, the train going full steam down the track and uh, you know not have any hiccups so uh, when I do do a cheat day, it is something that tastes really good. It feels really bad and, and you know, but it's still within the, the realm of uh, the keto eating plan. So um, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I ate today. Um, I still have that, uh, that weigh-in coming on the, the first of the month. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that uh, subscription button and match that notification bell so you don't miss out on that weigh-in. And uh, give me some more feedback, you know. Let me know uh, what you guys are looking for and uh, uh, in videos, you know, recipes, uh, grocery hauls, uh, just more talk or whatever about uh, the lifestyle changes and, and whatnot or or even the uh, 
the mental aspect of it, you know, the mental mental games you have to play to, uh, you know, stay on track. So, yeah, hit me up. Let me know what you guys want to see. The video of me making the dish and uh, what it looked like afterwards is coming right up. I hope you guys like it. So, if you do, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. All right, guys, I don't know what they call this. This is just one of my favorite recipes I'm going to show you. I'm going to leave down in the description of the video all of the ingredients, the breakdown, the nutrient breakdown and everything, but this is a keto dish. So this is a one half pound of pepperoni. So what I'm going to do to start off on this, this uh, pan right here is I just want to layer the bottom of the pan with uh, pepperoni. Get some good uh, fats from that pepperoni. We'll coat the bottom of that pan and keep it from sticking. So that's why I put this on there first. We'll uh, get plenty of pepperoni here. Okay. And then I have uh, one pound of turkey Italian sausage. I already cooked it up, browned it, drained it, got all the grease off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl here. And then I have uh, three cups of uh, broccoli. I already cooked it up in a pan, drained it off. And uh, now I'm gonna put it in the pan with the, uh, the sausage. I have one cup of uh, mozzarella cheese. Go ahead and put that in the, the pot. And then I have half a cup of ricotta cheese right here. So I'll put it in the pot. And then on top of that, I got one jar of this Barilla garlic uh, Alfredo sauce. I'll put all the nutrients and everything, like I said, down in the description below so you guys won't miss out on anything. But I'm going to put all that in here. And I'm going to take a spoon and then I'm going I'm to mix it all up. I've made this with uh, spaghetti sauce before, but spaghetti sauce has more carbs in it. So if you find a good Alfredo sauce uh, in your grocery store, it, uh, it'll save you on the carbs. So now we're gonna take this mixture here. We're gonna dump it. Try to put about half of it on there. Now I'm going to do the breakdown, like I said, of the, the macros and all that stuff for you. But this is about a, a four serving deal. I guess depending on how big you are, you could eat it all in one time if you're doing a fast. But now I'm going to take this pepperoni and leave it kind of kind of thick here. Take the rest of this uh, mixture. And put it on top. This is one of my favorites. There we have that. I have the oven set on 350 and it's already all been cooked. So you just need to really heat it thoroughly, watch the top and I'm gonna cook it until it gets uh, brown on top and a little bit bubbly and then I'm gonna take it out. So that's usually about uh, 30 minutes. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and we'll check back in 30 minutes and we'll see what it looks like.
Oh, hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right there so you don't miss out on my first weigh-in on March 1st to see how far I've came down from 479 pounds. Go ahead and hit it. Subscribe button right there. Subscribe and mash the notification bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming first weigh-in. We'll see you guys soon.